Hello everyone, it is Twin Plays here, back again on another video. I hope you guys are doing great. It has just been a bit where we recently left off with fixing that music request system. Um, so yes, I did do that. Now if you're new to the channel and just came from watching this video or finding it on Google or something, feel free to hit that subscribe button and post notifications and turn that on because it means so much to me. And um, we are almost at 6k, so that is amazing on the road to 10k, which is going to be great. Also, join the Discord is in the description. We are doing giveaways, and I help you out there if you need anything. Uh, I have helpers, too, that help me out with stuff. Also, join the group. We're actually at 400, near 500 members. I may do a giveaway through there. I don't think I'm allowed to, but um, we'll see about that. <laughs> um, but uh, join the group just because it's fun, and uh, I love you guys. So um, I Actually, I won't do a giveaway because that is against Roblox 2S, but... I will be giving away the Robux to get people to get clothing if they want that. So just comment the wallpaper and I'll probably just do that for you. Or live streams, but... Okay, so, of course, the title of this video says, um, the rank overhead icons. Now, by that, I mean we're basically going to look at a bunch of scripts, uh, a bunch of typing and letters and stuff, and we're going to look at groups and game passes and... Uh, overheads now for this i decided it'd be easier so there was two versions uh the first one i got by c9 and i will say thanks to him he's my discord helper uh he helped me out with it but i just he kind of gave me the idea of doing it um and i fixed his up by actually making a overhead now normally you could just do this in a script but i thought why not just do it with an overhead because it's more simpler and easier um and i'll go over it and i'll show you what it is um but yeah so what you're gonna do is go in the description and feel free to grab the model. Now, I actually didn't make the model, so let me pause this real quick. <laughs> okay, so when you go in the description, it will pop up and you'll see models and you'll click the link that says image icon overheads. It will take you here and you're just gonna say item own and you're gonna claim it. Once you have it, that means you own it and you will be able to import it in your Roblox Studio. Once that, you go to toolbox, it should be right over here, and you just grab the first one in your inventory, and there you go, you're all good. Now, you'll pull up right here, it'll be in a folder, it'll say ungroup and server, ungroup and replicated. You drag it, drag it to server, right click, and then you'll hit ungroup. Same for the other one, goes the same right here, and then you'll hit ungroup. Once that happens, you're gonna just delete the rest and don't worry about it. Um, so, now, let's say you wanted to look at this, you wanted to see what it looks like. You wanna grab this, it's a billboard GUI, they all have these things to them. Um, and you want to actually just put it on a part, any part in space. Now it's going to look like this, and I actually need to take a screenshot of this, but what it is, is it's basically an overhead, an image, just right above your head. Now let's say this is the head. This is how far it's going to be up displayed. Now, I'm going to actually just tell you right now in here, if you aren't using overheads, okay, so let's say the level ones, and I have made it high enough so it goes above that level overhead that we use, so you don't need to worry about anything, but if you aren't or you just want to adjust it, you basically go in here and you enable properties, and you're basically going to change all this stuff. Like, you're just going to change uh, extends offset, you're going to change um, position, you're going to change size, and then you'll go in here, you can go image label, and you can change position here, and you can just mess with that, and that will literally make it fit you the way you want it to. Um, also, another way of doing this, I'm going to show you real quick, so we're going to actually delete that, and we're going to look at the scripts in a second, but we're going to hit play and show you what it looks like uh, without the overheads, just as normal, just above the head, um, but what you're going to do is let's say you wanted to just move it just right here right now you're gonna hit this current client above here and see now it's not there but if I were to click my guy go in here and then go to head since it's parented there it's gonna say image UI now it's gonna pop up when I do that see now I can move it wherever I want to so let's say I want to go 0.5 I can see how far it is up uh, how far it goes down now the problem with that I actually want to move it um, I want to move it to the right, so we're gonna go negative one, because um, I need this to be more centered. So let's say negative one. You know what? That's perfect, actually. So I'm gonna actually do that and fix that real quick. You guys might want to do that. I'm not gonna update it. <laughs> so you're gonna go right here and you go negative point one like that. There we go. So in the script, it's pretty simple. All you need to do, um, oops, is open it up. And it, there's going to be a few things, okay? This is just my main thing, just to let me know what I'm doing. Um, this is for you guys to read. Now, if you want to make it so you can have multiple images, so let's say you want an owner rank and some special thing, you're probably going to want to duplicate this, okay? And you want to name it image GUI2. And then inside there, you want to make another image label, 
and then just position them to the side of each other. And then what you'll do is I actually have this for you and ready is you'll comment this out. So you'll just hit like control X, let's say, and we'll bring it right down here below this one and we'll put it right there. And then it's going to find that second one. And then what we're going to do is let's say we wanted to put this in the owner rank. We're going to do this and we're going to grab it right here and we're actually going to replace it with this. So owner rank will go like, oh, no, we're going to go like this. We're going to go control V. Oh, okay. That's not right. Well, either way, you can just go GY2, 2, and 2. That works perfectly. And then you'll just remove that. And then you'll have that above your head. So that's kind of how that works if you want to have a, it's one with multiple images. But we're not going to do that. So I'm going to explain to you how this script works and what it does. So let's remove that. And then I'm actually just going to quickly remove all of this because I don't need this. And when I put this into my game, I just want it to be perfect. So um, let's double check. Everything is good. So how this works is... Let's start it from top to bottom. You're gonna grab your Game Pass ID. Now this is for VIP rank. Now, I forgot, let me just mention this real quick. If you don't want something, let me show you how to delete it. So let's say we didn't want VIP. We'd literally just delete this part right here. So, you know, you just delete that. And then you'd go down here and find it, okay? So right here, it, it's right here. Um, also, you would delete this for VIP because we're checking if player bots. So you'd remove that. And then see how it's right there? We'd move, move from here to right there. So we wouldn't remove that end part, but we'd remove right there. And then there you go. So that that would make it like that. Now, we're going to do this. So you're going to grab the VIP game pass. Now, if you don't know how to do this, you go and find your game. And let's say we're going to grab this VIP house of mine. And we are going to, uh, let's see here. We're going to go, oh, sorry, guys. I'm dragging this over here. We're going to go right here, store. And then we'll go to VIP. Sorry, the freaking mic's in the way. And we'll go right there, grab that nine number. Once you have that, you will repeat it and put it right here. There you go. That's all you needed to change. You're set for the game. Now, for owner ranks and stuff, it is a little bit different. We're going to talk about this. So there's 255, 254, 253, 252, and 251, and then group ID. So you got to change a few things here. You got to change the group ID. So it's going to go to your group, and it's going to be this one right here. So that's a group. You're going to go to configure group, okay? And you're going to go to roles. And you're going to look at this. See how it says ranks? These are the ranks you're going to be looking at because you want to make sure that they uh, they match what you're doing. So right now we have 254 for admin, okay? This doesn't match mine. I just made this kind of in order. But let's say, you know what? I'm actually going to import this into my game. So let's say I want this to match. So we're actually just right now, since I only have these ranks that I actually want, we're going to just do this. We're actually just going to remove all of these because these are the ones I want. And we'll go 254 because that's mine. And 255, 255 is mine. 254 is for my admins. Keep that group ID. And then we're actually just going to remove all of these. So um, I'll explain to you what they are in a second here. And we'll keep VIP because these are the ones I want. So just figure out what you want in your group. Do what I'm doing. And then uh, just remove them. And then when you go in here, so dev rank, we don't need dev rank. So we'll remove that, and then we don't need mod rank or YouTuber rank, so we'll remove that. So now we only have three. So that's that. So these are the numbers of the ranks. This is the group ID. Now right here is the images. This is the Roblox asset, mar like this is the marketplace kind of, I guess you could say. Now, um, um, basically in here you'd be changing just this number, okay? Now, uh, you don't need to change them if I'm right. I think you can use my images, but if they don't load, here's a way of figuring out images. So let's say we want a screen UI, and then we'll go image label. So now you can see this, okay? Now, what you would do is go down here into the image properties and grab these. Now, let, I'm going to show you what I had. So I had this as admin. I had this for VIP. I also had this for YouTube, and I had this for developer. This was for the owner. And let's say one more was for the mod. So, and they're all transparent. They're going to be transparent. Now, if you want to find these, search up on Google, let's say, uh, admin transparent icon or VIP transparent icon. But what you're going to do is once you get that, you'd go down here, click this and hit add image and choose file. And once it pops it up, it'll give you the nine number and you'd literally copy that. So we'll delete this, copy that and put it right in here. So that's pretty much that. Now, 
this is where we're calling the GUI, which is in replicated storage, and then we're getting the image label, because right then we're going to be using the image in here just to set it. So on player added, we're going to grab the player. So when a player joins the game, and then we're going to get their character, so when they join, and we're going to set a thing where we're going to see if they bought the game pass. So we're going to go to marketplace service, use your own game pass async to check if they own it, grab their user ID, their VIP rank if they have it. If they do have it down here, then we'll GUI clone. So we're doing this for the same for everything. So everything's the same. The only thing we're changing is right here, this image. This So we're basically cloning the GUI above their head. We're setting the parent to above their head, and then we're adorning it to their head. So it's like all above their head and stuff like that. Um, then the image, we're setting it to these images specifically, these ones up here. So that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's kind of simple. And also, sorry, I didn't realize that. Right here, we're setting their ranks. So owner rank, admin rank. And let's say we wanted to do VIP rank. Kind of like that, if that makes sense. So this is like what I want to do for my game. So I'm going to import this into my game. Super simple. Just put this in the server script service and all that jazz. So if I hit control C, actually we'll get there and there. Control C. Uh, we'll hit cop. <laughs> there we go. Copy. Well, control C should work either way. Um, well, I'm just going to publish this either way. And then, yeah, I'm going to call it good. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And um, I think I'm going to get going, guys. Um, thank you very much. And let's hit 6K. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.